joining the Cab County Virtual Career Academy, or DVCA, 2020 graduates, guests, and dignitaries. Welcome to the closing summer celebration for the DeKalb Inaugural Virtual Career Academy. My name is Philip Middleton. I'm a senior at Mercer University, a member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, and I'm an international business major. Today, we'll be starting off our program with the national anthem performed during a previous graduation at Southwest DeKalb High School. Southwest of Cab. That was beautiful. It sounded like at the end they threw a little Ken G in there. <laughs> but now for another highlight from the Southwest of Cab, I'm happy to introduce our honorary mistress of ceremonies for today's celebration. A graduate of Southwest of Cab High School, she is a woman who believes in doing media differently. And a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, she is both formidable and revered personality within the sports and entertainment industries. She's no stranger to the airways of V103, Hot 107.9, and 94.5. She's been a sideline reporter for the Atlanta Hawks, the Atlanta Football Classic under NBC Sports Network, college football, basketball for CBS Sports Network, and so much more. She's the former co-host of the Sister Circle, a nationally syndicated tele talk show on TV One, and currently hosts her own podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm DeKalb County welcome to the founder of the nonprofit group Sporty Girls, a children's book author and a multimedia type, Ms. Rashawn Ali. Thank you so much, Philip, and good morning, everyone. I am your host, Rashawn Ali, and we have an amazing program in store for you today as a success story from DeKalb County. I went to Fernbank Elementary School, and then I went to Southwest DeKalb High School. I was thrilled to learn about the wonderful program that invests in the lives of our young people, a virtual work training that allowed DeKalb youth to learn and earn from home. So hats off to CEO Michael Thurman and DeKalb County Commissioners for your investment in our amazing youth. Now, it's time to get the show started, yes. In the spirit of girl power, let me introduce my girl, Nishat Nyla. She's an 11th grader attending Chambly Charter High School whose future plan is to study international law and relations. Everyone, welcome Nishat. Thank you, Rashawn. On behalf of all the interns who are part of the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy's inaugural class, we're all thrilled that we had the opportunity to learn and earn this summer. So let's hear from partners and supporters of the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. Here now are greetings from DeKalb Commissioner of District 4, Presiding Officer Steve Bradshaw, followed by our new Superintendent of the DeKalb County School District, Carol Watson-Harris. 
Then the president is Dr. Tavares Holt. Well, good. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. CEO. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be here for this historic celebration. It is an honor to be here with our new school superintendent, Dr. Cheryl Watson Harris, and the president of Georgia Piedmont Technical College, Dr. Tavares Holston. And of course, it's always a pleasure to be in the presence of my colleagues on the Board of Commissioners. I see my friend and mentor, Commissioner Larry Johnson. I don't know if any of our other colleagues are on board, but I want to send greetings to them as well. I want to thank our WorkSource DeKalb Executive Director, Teresa Austin Gibbons, and your entire team for the outstanding job that you all have done in administering this program. And most of all, I want to thank the young people who participated in this great program, the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. Attending to the needs of our youth is obviously something that is very close to my heart. And I've tried to demonstrate that with more than just words, but by trying to put my money where my mouth is. In that vein, in addition to supporting CEO Thurman's budget allocation for this program, I allocated an additional $62,000 out of my discretionary funds, which produced an additional 50 slots for this program. And it may very well be the best money that I've, that I've allocated since I've been in office. And I'm just overjoyed to see this outcome. So once again, I thank you all for affording me the opportunity to be here. And I wish all of our youth nothing but success in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, President uh, uh, Holston, Commissioner Bradshaw, Commissioner Johnson, uh, CEO Thurman, uh, Ms. Gibbons, the wonderful uh, Mr. Phillips, who, who led us uh, and opened up this wonderful event and our, our beautiful mistress of uh, ceremony. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I send you greetings. I'm Cheryl Watson Harris, the new and extremely proud superintendent of the DeKalb County School District. I would like to publicly thank our CEO of DeKalb County, Mr. Michael Thurman, for his vision to reimagine the summer programs and extending the opportunity to partner with our school district. Our teams first collaborated and designed the fourth summer program, but the first of its kind, because the typical face-to-face -face program was now virtual. Our summer interns accepted this challenge to earn while they learned, and the summer interns participated in academic enrichment and career development focused uh, courses that will better prepare them for the classroom, college, and the workforce as they pr uh, pursue their future goals. Uh, to our summer interns, our beautiful and brilliant scholars, I can't tell you how happy I am to see your faces. And I look forward to getting to know you and seeing you in person. Uh, but the lessons that you learned and the relationships that you formed this summer will ensure that you are career ready because you have the knowledge and the skills required to be successful. Your commitment was truly evident by your academic achievements this summer, and I am so, so very proud of you. There are a couple of highlights that I learned, and I just wanted to lift them up for the full community. Uh, we had 361 summer interns earn CTAE uh, course credits. That's remarkable. Uh, we had 213 interns pass their CTAE industry industry a recognized certification credentials. And again, that's something that you should be so proud of. Um, and lastly, uh, we had the Acer Chromebook certified students are now eligible for employment by the DeKalb County School District to help with Chromebook repairs. Do you know how exciting that is, especially now that we're in remote learning and we're going to have uh, lots of needs for repairs and it's going to be such an honor and a privilege to have our students who participated in this program be the ones to provide that much needed service. So DeKalb Virtual Career Academy summer interns, I leave you with a quote. You have the ability to shine and make a mark in some field. Your job is now to find your niche excel and build a lasting legacy. 
So thank you once again to the DeKalb government for being committed to our youth and having a vision to provide innovative workforce solutions that will increase occupational skills and improve the quality of our workforce. Congratulations to our scholars, our young people who had the courage to take a part of this program, to work hard, to explore new career options. And remember, learning is a gift that you can, that no one can ever take away from you. I look forward to continuing to support this great program and I thank you again. Um, well, I just want to say thank you to all of our partners. Um, they've been recognized, but I just want to say again, thank you for everyone who's helped make this, this possible for our interns. Um, it is, it's already been um, pointed out and acknowledged that there are a lot of people and organizations that are dedicated to seeing our young people successful. And Georgia Piedmont is just glad to be a part of that. And here's what I want to just say is we told you from the beginning that we were going to provide training for students that are relevant for today's workforce. We also told you that we would get those students paid for doing the same. I believe we've delivered on that promise. It's been Georgia Piedmont Tech's great pleasure to assist in this effort specifically by providing adult education training that gets st students one step closer to obtaining their high school equivalency. Um, the most well known of those being the, the GED. Uh, this service was provided free of charge to, to all of those who participated in this effort. Um, and so our college, you know, that was provided free of no charge to those students, um, j just like we do for every student who wishes, wishes to pursue their GD or high school equivalently um, to, to, to get that under their belt. And our college is also available for those, you know, the, the experience, the learning experience, this is one step. You know, I, I encourage all of those who participated to continue um, on their educational journey to, to get better, to be a better version of yourselves. Um, and, and, and our college is here to support you in that endeavor, endeavor through our academic programs, as well as um, our, our extensive continuing education offerings. If you want to know more about that, just check us out on gptc.edu. And again, I just want to say thank you and congratulations to all those who participated. We are so proud of you. Um, and the college is so proud of, of the partnerships to help you get to this place. Thank you. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on completing the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy program. As we talk to thousands of companies across the country about what kind of employee, what are the characteristics of a great employee that they are looking for, one of the things that they tell us is reliability. You've demonstrated that persistence by completing the academy. And I hope you take a moment to not only reflect on everything else that you've been exposed to and have learned over the course of your weeks in the, in the academy, but I want you to take a moment to reflect pride in the persistence that you have demonstrated. Congratulations again, and I hope you have a great year coming up. Thank you for such warm greetings and for your partnership in supporting this inaugural class of the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. We will hear now from some of the interns as they share their experiences because it's all about creating those experiences that will help you become the very best version of yourself. And they're gonna talk about the impact that DBCA has had on their lives. For that, I'm tossing it over to the facilitator of this special training presentation, J.R. Henderson of the Lynx and Associates. J.R., take it away attentive, awesome, are just a few words that I would use to describe our interns at the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. As you guys have heard in 2017, our CEO, Michael Thurman, he started the DeKalb Works Summer Internship Program, which this year, I'll tell you, if you watch the news, if you looked at the newspaper, one of the things that you saw is that thousands of internship programs were canceled across the country. And while they were canceling, we were planning. We were planning along with our team, Ms. Teresa Austin Gibbons, who's the leader of the DeKalb Works, um, the DeKalb Works, and our entire team came together to create an initiative for some amazing individuals. And today, you'll hear from just five of those amazing individuals. I have Mr. Brandon Wilson, Corbin Golden, Emma Mitchell, Carnisha Long, and Tara McCoy. 
At this time, I want to introduce our first intern, Mr. Brandon Wilson. Mr. Brandon Wilson, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great. How are you? Hey, I'm doing awesome, doing awesome. So first of all, it was a joy working with you this summer. And I can remember, um, I would see this individual that would always have his light off and he would have his camera on. One day I asked him, turn your camera on and turn your light on. And when he turned his camera on and he turned his light on, he said some wonderful things. So Mr. Wilson, I congratulate you. So you. I want to ask the first question to you. What do you think that the experiences that you've learned from this program, um, how would they better prepare you for the job market post COVID-19? Well, before COVID-19 and before this program, I really didn't have a sense of the extra necessary skills that would take to, for me to advance in the job market, whether it's at a simple level or just getting into the career field that would mainly be in for, you know, the rest of my career. But in this program, we've learned so many skills from high demand jobs to just different speakers that have just inspired us and taught us perseverance. You know, shout out to Mr. Sins and Mrs. McBride for really showing us and being the example for us to go ahead and do the great things that we need to do in the future. Okay, awesome, awesome. So tell me a little bit about your accomplishments from your educational perspective within the last month. Oh man, like not only that, I got to do so much programming, got to learn micro and macro economics and be able to immerse myself in those fields and be able to advance. So once I do get out of this program, I'll be able to not only have that on my resume, but I'll be able to show that I was a, I'm sorry for that. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to say. It's oh, like, fine. it's like, yeah, it's like I learned those things. Okay, so Brandon, we want to congratulate you. Really, really want to congratulate you. We understand that you just received your GED on uh, about 25 days ago. So we want to congratulate you on your success at Georgia Piedmont Te Technical College. So awesome job, awesome job. Our next individual that we're going to introduce to you, she's an 11th grader at Druid Hills High School, Miss Emma Mitchell. Emma, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I am doing wonderful, Emma. I'm doing wonderful. So Emma, I want you to tell me a little bit about your summer work experience and how the summer program helped you with your education, both, both prof professionally and personally. Well, um, personally, I'm interested in going into the psychology or neurology type of field. And this program really enforced, especially through speeches, really enforced um, and taught me to focus on my career goals and to take steps and plan on how to achieve those goals. And especially during Corona, where kind of everything is put on hold, I had to find more creative ways to further um, my achievement to those goals. And so I started reading books on psychology um, to kind of help enforce my knowledge of the subject. Okay, awesome. So. So what would you say, Emma, during the time, I know that one of the things that you and I talked about is that during the summer, normally you take a lot of different trips and you practice with swimming and things of that nature. So this summer, as opposed to you going on trips and you practicing swimming, tell me some of the things that other things that you feel that you were able to achieve through this program as it relates to assisting you with those things that you've practiced previously? Well, like you were saying, um, when I would practice swimming or just hanging out with friends during the summer, it would kind of give me a feeling of fulfillment and purpose, just doing something. But with Corona and everybody kind of being forced to stay home, I haven't been given that feeling of fulfillment and purpose. But by participating in the program, not only did I learn so much that will help me to further my career goals um, and have the ability to put this on my resume, but I've learned so much about business and technology and just simple tools that I can put into resumes or just school assignments through Word that will help me so much. Okay. 
Thank you, Emma. Thank you. So at this time, we have Cornisha Long. Cornisha is a 23-year-old young lady, and she just graduated. Um, I'm sorry, she just started her GED. And so, Cornisha, how are you this morning? Hi, I'm good. Good morning. Awesome, awesome. So, Cornisha, you tell me, you know, we've talked a lot about, you know, different things that, that you've done this summer to prepare you for the future, and we've also talked about some of the experiences that you've had this summer that were that were life changing. So, could you talk about some of those experiences? Um, yes, the experiences that I had that were life changing were literally this program. Um, before starting this program, I was in the process of getting my GED, and then the virus came, and then it was like the door was shut on me, so I didn't know what to do. As soon as I got the motivation to go back and get it, it was like the virus came, and it took away my opportunity. But this program came, and it gave me the tools that I needed to be able to get my GED virtually, which I'm doing now. And also, there was a course that I was able to enroll in, enroll in directly, which was the healthcare course with Ms. Strozier. I really enjoyed it. It taught me a lot of things about healthcare, a lot of um, scenarios we played out that are in healthcare that I didn't even know about. And I ended up earning a certificate from that um, program. So the, those were very life-changing. Awesome. Congratulate you. Congratulate you on your success, Pernicia. Our next young person that we're going to, our next intern is Corbin Golden. Corbin, how are you doing this morning, Corbin? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm doing wonderful, doing wonderful. So you could tell me, tell me some about the, some of the technical skills that you've learned. Corbin is actually, I'll, I'll say it before you speak, Corbin is actually one of our, our younger interns and Corbin really, really, really was inspiring this summer. So tell us some about some of the technical experiences that you learned, Corbin. I learned how to do graphics and I learned how to make shapes out of them. I also learned how to do foreign wild loops. And I made my own game, and I had a lot, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Okay, so what what school are you going to be attending this upcoming year? Druid Hills High School. Okay, okay. Shouts out to Druid Hills High School. Our last individual that we're going to introduce to you. I'll tell you, this young lady. I met this young lady, and she really, really, really um, impressed me. So this young lady is Tara McCoy. Tara is a recent college graduate from Kennesaw State University. And I can remember meeting you, Tara, and you telling me how impactful this program was to you. So as a college graduate, Tara, could you tell me how being a part of the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy prepared you for your career opportunities? So being a college graduate, um, working with DVCA, um, it was really impactful. I mean, just the program itself, it really just helped students learn how to advocate for themselves. And it really modeled a college, um, like taking a college course, um, you learn how to reach out to uh, facilitators just to ask if you need any help. And you get to um, have a sense of fulfillment just to start something from A to B. Um, I do know um, that The Verge, for me, it was more of like a refresher course for me, just having to with all the experience that I have had in the workforce what it did for me was kind of just take me back to like things like conflict management working with others building a community and working with others and um, that was sort of something that was really at the forefront of the verge however when I transferred back to the uh, as a lead intern now that was like taking it up to a whole another level. For me, it was sort of like a career capstone. And so what that is, is pretty much all those experiences that I had in the workforce, I was able to put them into practice. And um, so for things like, uh, for me, I had to stay accountable for myself for myself and my team members. So that was really impactful. And just learning how to work under pressure, just taking all those things and remember that diamonds are built under pressure. So I became a diamond this summer. And um, it really helped me with this new job that I have as a financial aid and scholarship coordinator for APS schools. Um, a lot of the same tools, like creating presentations, working with students, that's really been super helpful, especially during my training. So kudos to WorkSource. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tara, and congratulations on your career opportunity. So kudos to you. Tara actually started our program at 14, and now she's 24. So awesome job. So our CEO, Michael Thurman, he actually said it best. And when he said that 2% of the CAB's population is made up by our young, our young people, 20%, I'm sorry, are made up by our younger generation. But they are 100% of our future. 
So kudos to all of our young people. And I'll tell you something, for me, this has been a really, really, really awesome spiritual journey. I'm both humbled and grateful for the opportunity. CEO Michael Thurman, really, really thank you. Board of Commissioners, thank you. Our, our workforce director, Ms. Austin Givens, thank you. And I would like to say thank you most of all to our 850 interns that we serve. This has been life-changing for me, and I really thanks for the opportunity. So kudos to our interns. Yes, sorry, Mr. Henderson. That was powerful, hearing all those stories. You know, my personal experience has been that I got certified in Microsoft Office. I got to learn so much from my various teachers, and I got to meet so many different people who just wanted to help me. And for all that, you know, just like you like to say, Mr. Henderson, we give that a G double O D J O B. Good job, good job. Now let's keep this momentum going as we invite you to share in some of the highlights of the DVCA special, brought to us by the Cab County Television, the Emmy Award winning network, and that's DC TV on Channel 23. Check out this report produced by the former the Cab intern turned TV reporter. Crystal Thomas. Academic enrichment, counseling and support, career preparation training, credentialing training, GED preparation, and empowerment support. This is the 2020 DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. Think about it. Some 850 young people are earning $9 an hour academic enrichment, career development, life skills training in the midst of one of the most extraordinary crises that this nation has ever faced. And it was all possible because leaders at our school district, at our technical college, and here in DeKalb County transcended the bureaucratic barriers. Refusing to allow the COVID-19 pandemic to further impact local youth, DeKalb officials transformed the annual DeKalb Works Internship Program into the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy, the first of its kind. Everything is going to be online, so we will not have youth in DeKalb County in locations at work sites. They will be able to do this from the comforts of their homes. It's a great program that you're able to earn certifications that can help you later on in life. So you might have that degree, but that certification is the one thing that puts you on top above anybody else. During this six week long program, 850 DeKalb County youth, ages 14 to 24, worked up to 20 hours a week, earning $9 an hour. Learning and earning, that's what the DeKalb County Virtual Career Academy is all about. It's been an awesome experience. You get to learn new things, you get to meet new people, and I mean, best of all, you get to make money. I can truly attest to the value that this program has added from the beginning of my work journey to where I am now. CEO Michael Thurmond and the DeKalb County Board of Commissioners allocated $600,000 to continue providing innovative opportunities for young people in DeKalb County for the fourth year in a row. Our youth are very important to all of us, and this historic partnership underscores that point. The DeKalb County Virtual Career Academy is a historic partnership between DeKalb County Government, WorkSource DeKalb, the DeKalb County School District, and Georgia Piedmont Technical College. It's important to make sure that every citizen has an opportunity uh, to be productive um, and to find work that's meaningful, that's valuable, and that they feel comfortable doing. While utilizing the DeKalb County Schools educational platform, Verge, the Virtual Academy documented educational gains and provided a summary of each student's growth and achievement. Well, we want to make sure this summer that you have an opportunity to do a lot, to learn a lot, and understand students. Just because COVID-19 has slowed you up a little bit, it's just a brief pause. The Virtual Academy offered a host of activities and excitements for students, including vision boards, a dress for success program, t-shirt and graduation caps, and of course, picking up their paychecks. The idea of enhancing education, of course, in any respect is always good. You had to have the self-discipline every day to log in. It said 9 o'clock, 8.30. Like, yo, we at? We, it's 8.15. Uh, you know, I was excited about all the things surrounding it because I knew the character that was being built within it. 
my son, Spencer, he has a traumatic brain injury. And so he has deficits. He has difficulty with reading and processing and reasoning and those type things. Everyone who's been involved with him has taken a particular interest in him, made sure that he was successful, and he feels it, and trust me, I feel it as well. And I'm so grateful for that program because it allowed him to be successful on his own. The CAP school instructors implemented the daily academic component, all while workforce development professionals delivered life skills and job readiness activities. Counseling was also always on hand. Students were offered a variety of virtual courses, including introduction to digital technology, healthcare science, resume workshops, college prep, and so much more. One of the things that we wanted to ask you was about the importance of observing and volunteering. I know that you volunteer a lot. Yes, uh, mostly shadowing and observing. It's very, very, very important to observe and shadow in the area or career you're trying to go into. The business technical class taught me a lot of things about like using Word, Microsoft, Google Docs, and stuff that I haven't learned in like years. In addition to development classes, students also enjoyed a speaker series developed just for them. Much like TCSG did 20 years earlier when I walked through the doors as a pregnant teenage mother in high school dropout, um, they loved me and supported me and wrapped their arms around me as I figured things out. And I'm still here, I'm thriving. Um, in fact, six weeks ago, I was promoted from dean to vice president. The message that I'm trying to share with you guys is just to never give up. I feel like every single person that they've brought so far, like, I felt their message, like, I made sense. I saw their vision. And so I was really able to connect and gain from the lessons that they were giving me. The COVID-19 pandemic has not halted or derailed the county's commitment to providing educational and career development opportunities for the future leaders of DeKalb and beyond. Like you got two dots of people in the world. You got those that's focused on right now, and then you got those that's focused on the future. But in every one of your journeys, there's going to come these moments where it is you and that dream you say you have. How bad do you really want it? What are you willing to do to make your life everything you hope and dream that it can become? I think the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy is going to be a useful summer bridge for the youth in DeKalb County. This is the 2020 DeKalb County Virtual Career Academy. That was absolutely outstanding. I didn't know that I was going to have tears in my eyes having uh, witnessed uh, just the great work of the DVCA. I'm so very happy just to just host this event because uh, seeing some of the people that I know who are now parents whose children have benefited from this program, I am absolutely in awe of the work that you all are doing. So kudos to everyone who is involved in this amazing program. Thank you, thank you, thank you for not only pouring in to our students, but the parents. As a parent myself, we get to experience seeing our child continue to develop, and we thank you so much. What a that video just like it really summed up everything and that was just really a snippet of the amazing work that workforce to cab and partnering agencies have been performing for so many years so i mean virtual hugs virtual love incense palo santo sticks all of that prayer meditation it is absolutely wonderful so it's time to recognize our first set of dvca graduates from this inaugural class here's our parade of graduates part one let's take a look and clap it up for them at home
Congratulations to our graduates. That was just the first set, and we will honor more throughout our program. To hear more about how DeKalb Virtual Career Academy has re was received by the interns and their parents, we turn now to this video submitted by Audrey Mitchell. Her daughter, Emma, was in this year's program. Thank you to CEO Michael Thurman and everybody that, that put this program together, especially, I know y'all had to turn it on a dime when we found out that everything was gonna be virtual, but you know, we really appreciate the experience for her and for other DeKalb residents. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to turn it over to Theresa Austin Gibbons to present the Superlative Awards. Thank you, Ms. Ali. It gives me great pleasure to honor our high academic achievers throughout the DVCA Academy. These awards for interns that have completed the Academy and completed all their assignments, had good attendance and demonstrating that thought-provoking originality and creativity. Our first award winner is our high academic achiever. CTA credential is awarded to Ms. Tiffany Boyd. Our next academic high achiever, academic enrichment, is awarded to Bashat Nadir. <laughs> next, we have our high academic achiever, career development empowerment S series, is awarded to Philip Middleton. <laughs> High Academic Achiever, GED, is awarded to Ms. Rain Fryer. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, this is to our High Achiever, our best all around intern for the DVCA 2020, is Ms. Tara McCoy. <laughs> I also want to take time to congratulate all of the honorees of this year's awards. As you can see on the screen, this inaugural class was full of talent and future leaders. All awardees will receive certificates following the graduation reception. We also want to take time to thank all of our DeKalb County School District instructors as we also honor you at this time. Thank you so much, Ms. Gibbons, for such a wonderful presentation. And I'd like to say congratulations to all the winners on behalf of the DeKalb County Virtual Career Academy. On behalf of my fellow peers, we thank you. Especially, we give thanks to, Mr., to our CEO, Michael Thurman, for his leadership, and his vision and his commitment to help the youth prepare for the future. We also appreciate you dedicating your time and sharing your knowledge and wisdom with us. It's that time again now, y'all, so we can celebrate more of our graduates. Outstanding. The DVCA really had a profound impact on the youth in DeKalb County. All the names of interns that continue to learn and earn each day during the midst of a pandemic. And that is, is so much. You, have, you all have endured so much. I know you keep hearing the word unprecedented times of the way that you have pushed through and continue to achieve. We're so very, very proud of you. To see the success of this overall program, one needs to look no further than our next speaker, 
Garfield McIntyre. He's a rising junior at Hampton University. And I got to do a shameless plug for the, all of you who are considering college. Please consider an HBCU. I am a graduate of Florida Agriculture Mechanical University. So I'm loving, I'm loving the HBCU spirit that we have here. Uh, he's majoring in economics with a minor in history. Please join me in welcoming Garfield McIntyre. Thank you so much, Gali, Ms. Ali. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Greetings. My name is Garfield McIntyre, and I'm here to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Keith Brown. Now, the time has come, and the messenger is here. Early in life, this gentleman was identified as a special ed and at-risk student, primarily because he was very talkative, hyper, and he wanted to give all the answers. Now, ironically, these are a few of the same traits that made him a hit on the legendary Showtime at the Apollo and the popular game shows Family Feud and Celebrity Name Game, and make him one of the most sought after professional speakers, consultants, change agents, and award-winning authors on the planet. Everyone, please help me welcome Mr. I'm Possible, Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Keith L. Brown. Wait, it, is it my turn? Is the is the camera on me? Has opportunity knocked? No, I can no longer hide behind my camera. No, I'm at the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy commencement and celebration. This is not how I'm supposed to come on? Well, how am I supposed to come on? How am I supposed to come on when opportunity knocks? <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Right there! Come on! All my scholars! Let's go! Let's go! Left! Right! Come on! Left! Right! Come on! Left! Right! Come on! Left! Right! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, let's go! Celebration! Let's go! Let me see you! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! CEO! Mobilizing! Michael Thurman! Executive Director! Trailblazing! Teresa Austin Gibbons, let's go. Justify J.R. Henderson, let's go. Everybody, let's go. Come on, respect it. Rashawn Ali, let's go. Purposeful. Philip Middleton, let's go. All the scholars, let's go. All the dignitaries, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. Good morning. Good morning. Keith L. Brown, Mr. I'm possible. It's not impossible. It's I'm possible. I was told that I have to exercise the three B's today. Be brief, be good, and be gone. And so that's what I'm going to do on today. Thank you, Genuine Garfield, for that awesome introduction. I appreciate you. And I need all of my scholars right now to type into the chat right now, what did you think when you saw me come on with a bathrobe? Put a word in the chat. Put a statement in the chat. Come on. Yes, yes, let's do it. Superintendent, wondrous, wisdom Phil Watson Harris, thank you for being here. Unprepared. I need another word. Unprepared. That's what's in the chat. Keep it going. What? Somebody did the Lil John. They said, what? Come on, keep it going. Unprepared. Yes, unprepared. What? Somebody, come on. Unprofessional. That's excellent. Let's keep it going. Keep the words going. Lazy. Keep the words going, y'all. A hot mess. Keep the words going. Keep it going. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, yes, when I first came on, I came on with a bathrobe. I was a hot mess. You probably said, what? I was unprepared. DeKalb County TV, they were ready to shut me down. The uh, Emmy award-winning TV, yes, D Diligent Diamond Lewis and the team, they were ready to shut me down because I came on lazy. I came on unprepared. I want you to understand today, in the midst of me not being on my camera, 
when the introduction came and Garfield called me, I had to step up to the plate, but I was not ready because I had on my bathrobe. Well, Mr. Impossible, what do you mean? What do you mean? We're on a virtual platform. We don't have to get up and get ready. If you don't get up and get ready, there's no way you're going to make impact. Boom! I said, if you don't get up and get ready, there's no way you're going to make impact. And that is a key word for this inaugural class. You have to make impact. That means even when you're going back to school on a virtual platform or if you are on site, when you walk in the room, the atmosphere should change for the better. I want you to understand today, you got to make impact. Everybody hashtag right now in the chat, impact, impact impact everybody let's go come on let's go let's go y'all i only got eight minutes left let's go impact 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 everybody impact impact i m p a c t i m p a c t i m p a c t so you got to make impact and the reason you have to make impact is because COVID 19 has come the executive director trailblazing teresa austin gibbons COVID-19 has come. CEO mobilizing Michael Thurman, this pandemic has come. Listen to me. This pandemic has come and it has turned the world upside down. But your generation has the unique opportunity to make impact and turn the world back upside on its right side. I started out with what song? I started out with swag, sir. So that means scholars, you have to have swag. You have to have swag, and swag simply stands for scholarship, work ethic, ambition, and grind. Scholarship, work ethic, ambition, and grind. You got to make impact. When the camera comes on, you got to make impact. When, you, the, the, when, when they call your name, you have to make impact. And just like I came in with enthusiasm. When you catch on fire with enthusiasm, people will come for miles to watch you burn. So whatever you do, you have to make impact, scholars. I need you to understand this. I need you to understand this today. This is not who I am with the bathrobe. I wasn't ready. And now I'm all the way ready. See, I wasn't ready before, but now I'm all the way ready. And some of y'all might say, Mr. I'm possible, that's a big hat. Yes, it's a big hat. You might say you have a big head. Yes, but I have a big brain holding up a big head and a big hat. I need you to understand today, it's all about going from impossible to impossible, but you got to do that by making impact. Listen to me very carefully. The CAB Virtual Career Academy has given you many things this summer. It has given you motivation, education, elevation, transformation, today's graduation, and today's celebration. But if you don't have implementation, you cannot make impact. They can give you all of the motivation, education, and transformation. All of that is fine. But if you don't have implementation, you can't make impact. And what is impact, Mr. Impossible? Impact is having a profound effect on someone or something. I heard from all the participants, so I know you're ready to make impact. I heard from the leaders, so I know you're willing to make impact, but implementation is the key. That simply means you're going to have to execute and you're gonna to have to activate your dreams, your goals, and your visions. And at the end of the day, if you're dreaming and you have dreams, but you're not willing to implement those dreams. You don't have dreams, you have daydreams. You don't have dreams, you have daydreams. And at this very moment, I need everyone to look at this word, impact, impact. And I want you to take an apostrophe. And I need you to take the apostrophe as I have six minutes only left, six minutes left. Take the apostrophe and put the apostrophe between the I and the M. Take the apostrophe and put it between the I and the M and put what we now have in the chat. Separate those two words. Separate those two words. We have I'm packed. We no longer have impact scholars. We now have I'm packed. And what does that mean, Mr. I'm possible? It simply means when you break this word down and you put an apostrophe between the I and the M, you go from impact to I'm packed. And what I'm saying today, scholars, when you make an I'm packed, you are making a covenant with yourself. You are making an internal covenant, an internal pact with yourself to be great, 
to go above and beyond, to go the extra mile. Because when you go the extra mile, there you will find very little traffic. When you go the extra mile, there you will find very little traffic. Listen to me. Listen to me well. Every morning you wake up. Every morning you wake up and your feet hit the floor. Every morning you wake up and your feet hit the floor, start clapping. Everybody just start clapping right now. I got four minutes left according to my clock. Everybody start clapping. Everybody. I'm scrolling through and I don't see y'all clapping. Everybody clap with your mics reading. Clap, 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 clap. Excellent. Now, I know you're saying, well, Mr. I'm possible. Why should we do that? Every morning you wake up and your feet hit the floor, you need to start clapping because it might be the only standing ovation you receive all day. You got to wake up willing to celebrate yourself. You have to understand that this experience with the CAB Virtual Career Academy will not be the rule. It will be the exception. Many people will not celebrate you or promote your gift. So that's why you have to have a belief system so strong that you make an iron pack that you're going to celebrate yourself. You're going to embrace what the DeKalb County Virtual Career Academy has done for you today. You're going to then surround yourself with people who celebrate you, not people who tolerate you. You're gonna understand that the company you keep will determine the levels you reach. You're gonna understand that when the camera comes on, you gotta be ready. You're gonna understand that today, when you make an eye pack to make impact, you don't just wanna be successful. You don't just want to be successful because success is fine, but success means I have my own home. I have my own vehicle. I have my own land. I have my own position. No, today, we don't just want you to be successful. We want you to be significant. And when you are significant, that's when you make on pat. That's when you make impact. So from this day forward, as I only have two minutes left, from this day forward, don't ever say, I want to be. Start saying, I am. Don't ever say again, I want to be, because the world doesn't need any more wannabes. From this day forward, I want you to live local, but I want you to think global. Listen to me. From this day forward, I want you to live local, and I want you to think global. Broken down that and from this moment, so living life on the when the world doesn't believe, you can find a when those around you don't believe, so you, so you still make impact. Down. I need you to sit up straight right now. Everyone, I need to see your posture. I need you to sit up straight. Because we're making a pact with ourselves. An I'm pact to make impact. So what do we got to do, Mr. I'm possible? Rise up. When people don't believe in us, rise up. When we have to overcome obstacles, rise up. See, it doesn't matter what they say. It only matters what you do. This is your moment. This is your time. Make impact. Make an impact to make impact. So on behalf of 2020 Enterprises, on behalf of the Impossible Institute, on behalf of the Georgia Senate, where I'm a director of external affairs, on behalf of the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy, all of my scholars, I am Mr. Keith L. Brown, Mr. I'm Possible, Keith L. Brown underscore on Instagram. And from this day forward, I salute you, I celebrate you, and continue to be empowered, not devoured. Make impact each day of your life. Congratulations. I know you feel like that, but I promise we will take Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, that just get eat me up, Mr. Keith. It eat me up. <laughs> you said enthusiasm. But thank you for that inspirational message. We're now going to get into the segment of our show to get introduced to Mr. Michael McCord, an executive director of Georgia Commission of Higher Education to present the Community Service Award. What an honor to be with you all today to celebrate the culmination of what I hope has been a deeply formative experience and one that continues to encourage you on your professional and vocational journeys. During one of their sessions, we became so inspired by the creative ideas they had for serving their communities that we decided to create an opportunity for the interns so that we can invest in them and their ideas. Together, the awardees will share $3,000 to help their projects come to life. These awards are underwritten through the generosity of the Doves Foundation, KNK Soul Food, and the United Methodist Commission on Higher Education, and the National Lighthouse Foundation, 
and we thank them for the generosity. The Community Service Awards are presented to the interns with the most innovative and impactful ideas addressing the needs of their local communities. The winners of this year's awards will coordinate their ideas with and through the sponsoring organizations and their sponsors will mentor them and support them throughout their partnership. This year's Community Service Awards go to Nadia Franklin, Taylor Kate Young, Sareel McCray, and Lauren Grant. Congratulations to you and thank you for demonstrating your commitment to making your community better. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Congratulations to all the recipients of the awards. It must be a wonderful feeling to be recognized by your peers. So job well done. It has truly been my pleasure being your host along with my amazing co-host, Mr. Phillip. He's done a great job. Uh, I am, again, a product of the Cab County School System. My dad is Buck Godfrey, the legendary high school football coach. His stadium is named after him, uh, formerly Panthersville Stadium. So I am truly uh, DeKalb County to my core. And if you know, on all platforms that I've ever been on, I always represent the East Side. So it's been my pleasure being your host for this outstanding event. I am so excited about the future of our young people. You all are doing just incredible work. So thank you so much for the leadership and thank you so much for tapping into your greatness because everything that you need to go to the next level is already inside of you. So tap into it and you too can be great. So now I am going to reintroduce to you Miss Macy, who will introduce uh, Michael Thurman. Go ahead, Macy. Thank you, Miss Ali. It is a great honor and pleasure for me to introduce CEO Michael L. Thurman, the Chief Executive Officer of DeKalb County. CEO Thurman is widely regarded as a turnaround expert, a change agent, a very capable, effective, and missionary leader. But most important for us to turn today, CEO Michael L. Thurman is the leader and visionary creator of this DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. In 2018, CEO Michael Thurman creating the DeKalb Summer Employment Strategy, known as DeKalb Works, and since that time, with the support of the Board of Commissioners, close to 2,000 youth have been privileged to receive summer training and earn much needed financial support. This year, in response to the COVID-19 health and economic crisis, the 2020 DeKalb Summer Youth Employment Program was transformed by CEO Thurman into the DeKalb Virtual Career Academy. So instead of the normal 400 youth served, more than 850 youth have been benefited from this unique opportunity to virtually learn while we earn from the safety and comfort of our own. Please join me, DVCA interns and audience, as we welcome and applaud CEO Michael L. Thurmond for his commitment to youth and for his tireless and passionate leadership on behalf of all DeKalb citizens. Good morning, and thank you so much, Macy, for the kind of words of introduction. I want to first just share with you how happy uh, I am at this moment and at this time. I want to thank the citizens of DeKalb County and particularly the young citizens and residents of DeKalb County. This is a special moment, a fulfilling moment, and you need to know that on behalf of the 750,000 residents of DeKalb County, we are so proud of you because you represent the best and the very brightest that this county, that our state, that this nation has to offer. So congratulations. And I only encourage you to continue to keep on to not to give up and never to give in and always, always to pursue your dreams. I want to thank Ms. Roshan Ali for taking the time out of her schedule. Uh, we are so proud of her and the work that she does in the community, a tireless community worker. So let's give Ms. Ali a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love you. And I want to also acknowledge first our partners who without them this summer uh, career academy would not have been possible. Uh, Superintendent Cheryl Watson Harris, thank you so much and welcome to DeKalb County. 
We are excited uh, for your superintendency. Uh, we're excited that you bring so much to our county. And I pledge to you my personal as well as our commitment to support your efforts to provide education opportunities to all of our children uh, in DeKalb. To President Holston, thank you so much for being a visionary, enthusiastic leader of technical education. Thank you for embracing the idea and the concept. Thanks also to our presiding officer, uh, Commissioner Steve Bradshaw, as well as the members of the Board of Commissioners. I know Commissioner Larry Johnson was on uh, the link earlier. Thank you all for supporting with your votes and your advocacy investments in our children and in our future leaders in this county and in this state. Because of you, this amazing opportunity is possible. Uh, thank you to Director Teresa Austin Gibbons uh, for leading WorkSource to care. Uh, not just this summer, but 365 days a year. Uh, I appreciate you so much. And I appreciate you embracing the ideas and the visions and sometimes putting up with an old guy that may have just one too many ideas that he needs you to go out and implement. Thank you so much. Thank you for our instructors and our counselors and the people who are working in the background. We're virtual today uh, because of John Matoski and his efforts and because of Mr. Canty and people at the work so as to cab. Thank you so much for being there and making this possible. And finally, of course, DCTV. Uh, Ms. Diamond Lewis, communication staff, uh, Ms. Crystal uh, Thomas, and now Jackson uh, for your work that you do as well. And I'll stop, I really don't have a speech, but all I have today is to let you know that I have a full moment of pride and joy and appreciation for this moment and at this time. Mr. Henderson spoke about it earlier. When counties and cities all over America, because of the pandemic, decided not to uh, implement some employment programs, the leaders in DeKalb County, rather than just saw challenges, we saw opportunity. And we embraced the challenge and we transformed the program that served 400 into one that serves 850. So young people, these are challenging times, but these are also transformational times. History from this day forward will be marred by before COVID-19 and after COVID-19. The young men and women who are interns today will be legislators and judges, will be corporate leaders, will be doctors, will be parents, you are the ones who will transform what was a crisis into a new day, a better day for our nation and this world. So thank you so much for all that you do. And thanks also to my longtime friend, uh, Ms. Linda Johnson, who I first shared this idea with, who's retired, but who I was able to cajole enough to come back and, and help us turn this idea into an amazing reality. Young people, we love you. Remember, you don't have to be perfect to be good. You learn from mistakes, but smart people learn from other people's mistakes. Keep on keeping on. Don't give out. Don't give up. And in the words of John Lewis, don't be afraid good every trouble. now and then to get in just a little bit of good trouble. Because good trouble can turn evil into good they can turn hopelessness into opportunity, and they will ultimately transform hate and divisiveness into love and affection. So thank you. Good luck in the next school year. Good luck for the remainder of your career. Be safe. God bless. And be strong.